What is up, YouTube? Spectacular Spider Grandpa coming back at you with 1,000 Funko Pops. I have hit my year-end goal. I actually hit it last weekend. Um, my parents were actually in town, flew in from Chicago. We did a lot of shopping. I did a lot of Funko Pop hunting, and uh, I did it. I uh, hit my um, year-end goal. Uh, this goal was actually set in place. Um, Early, early, early this year or late la last year uh, by myself and uh, a former YouTuber. Um, he hasn't made videos in a very long time. Um, and that's British Geeky Guy. Some of you may remember him. Um, he was on Blast of the Stash at a couple shows. Um, I did a couple live shows with him and Airborne Sapper and uh, Stephen Higgins and all them guys. So um, we kind of had a little... Uh, uh, all jokingly had a little uh, bet going um, who could hit 1,000 Funko Pops before the end of the year. Um, well, since he kind of dropped off the YouTube scene, I kind of made it my personal go. So, but I did it. Um, 1,000 Funko Pops. I have my last little haul here, probably the last haul of the year for Funkos. Um, I don't know how many this is exactly. Some of you have seen pictures on uh, Facebook or Instagram or uh, any of those platforms. Um, but I'm going to go through them all. Uh, I sat down as I, uh, when I got home that one night and uh, looked at my receipts and actually figured out what the official uh, 1,000th uh, pop was. And I'll show you that last. Um, I am up to 1,004. One came in the mail today. I'll also show you that one. Uh, but let's get started. First off, right here, we got um, a great cartoon series back in the day, um, Woody Woodpecker. Um, there he is, Woody Woodpecker. Um, I don't know what stores I got these at. I uh, went through a lot of stores um, last weekend. So got Wayne from Wayne's World. Still haven't found Garth. Um, and there we go. Uh, Twinkie the Kid, uh, the blue bandana version. I know there's a uh, few different versions of him. Uh, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Uh, Eleven from the Snowball Lance in this newest, newest series of uh, Stranger Things pops right there. I do have all of them except Hopper. Uh, next, um, the only Lost Boys pop I found, which is cool. Um, probably my favorite character out of the movie, uh, and that's David. So here he is. Um, here is the set. I do want all of these eventually, so really happy to have him. Lost Boys, such a great classic uh, movie. Um, what is this popping up in front of my camera here? Okay, we still going? Yeah, we're still going. Uh, here's Boromir from Lord of the Rings. This is the last one I needed to complete this set on the back. So, of course, happy to complete that little set. I got uh, the Bloody Baron from Harry Potter right there. There's that one. Um, this one I got, we went to, uh, Second and Charles, and they had this one. This is Jan, Jan Brady and George Glass. Well, you say, Grandpa, there's a Funko Pop missing in there. George Glass is missing. Well, if you're familiar with the episode of the Brady Bunch, um, George Glass is Jan Brady's imaginary friend. And I was uh, real worried um, about this. I thought they were going to charge me um, the amount of a two-pack, but they actually didn't. It just cost um, $11 or whatever it was, the price of one Funko. So this is great. Um, I hope Funko does uh, more creative things like this. Not a fan of the two-packs, but I do have to have one. Have this one. Um, I do love the Brady Bunch. Loved it since I was a kid. So um, I do have the whole set of those. So this is just great. So happy to find that one. Um, didn't get it when it was first released this summer. Um, 
I've got Black Phillip with his fucked up paint around his eyes. I know you can't really tell. A lot of overspray in the paint job on this. But um, I missed this the first girl. I finally found him. So, so I grabbed that right there. Um, that's number 1,000. I picked up Boris from Rocky and Bullwinkle. He's pretty awesome. Uh, picked up Superman from Flashpoint. He's a Hot Topic exclusive. Professor Quirrell from uh, Professor Quirrell from uh, Sorry, that was a uh, text message going through. Um, Harry Potter. He's from Harry Potter. And if you're unfamiliar with this pop, you could actually take him out, turn him around, and he's got, if you're familiar with the character, he's got the other face on the back, so pretty cool. Found him. Uh, Duella Dent uh, from the Bombshells. I think this is the Joker's daughter. Uh, Hot Topic exclusive. Found her. My wife is collecting the Gargoyles Funkos, and she needed Lexington, so grab that one right there. Um, yeah, so she's, sorry, I was distracted. My phone, I'm flipping my phone over now, so I won't be distracted no more. Um, she has pretty much all the Gargoyles Funkos, but the, I we share the collection, so I'm adding those to my count. Uh, Vanessa Kensington from Austin Powers. Grab this one. And here is a set, of course, Austin and Dr. Evil. Gotta find those. Saw Austin Powers, but the box was obliterated, and I didn't want that in my collection. Uh, Mickey from the upcoming Kingdom Hearts 3. Really excited for that game to drop. I think it comes out the 25th of January. Been waiting a long time for that one. Uh, Hedwig from Harry Potter. I know they have the flock version of this at GameStop. Uh, Vanitas. I guess he's a new villain. A new villain in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. So I grabbed him up real quick. Uh, more Kingdom Hearts 3. Sora from to uh, the Toy Story version of him from Hot Topic. Right there. I picked up another Kingdom Hearts. I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan now. Uh, Riku from Kingdom Hearts 3. Grab that. Um, they opened up a box launch by me finally. Um, in one of the local malls here, so found my Lydia Dietz box launch exclusive. I think she has the Book of the Dead or the recently deceased in her hand, so that's cool. Saw so Into the Spider Verse, very good animated Spider Man movie. Is it my movie of the year? Come check us out, not this weekend, but next weekend uh, for the third annual Stashy Award Show. Um, picked up Spider Gwen from Into the Spider Verse. Picked up Mike from Stranger Things, Snowball Dance. You know, the little dance they had at the end of season two. Uh, the Festrial, which I always thought was a cool creature in the Harry Potter world. And this is from The Crimes of Grindelwald. And there's all those little critters you could get. Picked up Natasha from Rocky and Bullwinkle. There's that set. Uh, South Park, I picked up Chef. And here is the set of those you could grab. Uh, this one came in the mail today. This is Lady Justice from Metallica from the cover of Injustice for All. Here is the band. I refuse to get Robert Trujillo. Trujillo, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, that's not my Metallica. So they either have to put... Uh, they would like to see him put Cliff Burton. 
make a Cliff Burton Funko Pop, and then I'll buy uh, that one. But, um, so like I said, 1,000 Funko Pops. Here it is. Here is the official 1,000 1, Funko Pop um, in my collection. Um, and it, I, like I said, I looked at the receipts and um, counted down, you know, the purchases. And here he is. It's funny. It is Mr. Hanky from South Park, a piece of shit with a Santa hat. Very fitting. He's got the Santa hat. It's Christmas time. And uh, in 10 years, my collection ain't going to be worth shit. But this is it right here. Funko Pop number 1000 and Spectacular Spider Grandpa's collection, Mr. Hanky from South Park. Um, not only is it my collection, a lot of YouTubers, um, a lot of these guys I made friends with have sent me Funko Pops over the years. I bought Funko Pops from people like uh, Jeremy Edwards and uh, a lot of others. Um, so this is like everybody's collection. Everybody, um, you know had their hand in this, uh, but uh, 2,000 Funkos, here we come, um, will I do it before the end of 2019, <sighs> um, if you ask my wife, probably not, um, <laughs> there ain't no chance in hell, as Vince McMahon likes to say, but, um, it's been a great time, I love these things, um, I, what more can I say, but, uh, thank you all for watching, um, Come check us out, Blast It or Stash It, uh, this Sunday, 10 p.m. It's myself, Pokan Joe, um, Huey's Comics, Drew Manchu, and Midwest Comic Man. Uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I think 7 on the other side of the world over there. Um, then next Sunday, we will have our third annual Blast It or Stash It Stashy Awards show. Um, which some of the categories include Best Marvel Comic of the Year, Best DC Comic of the Year. We got some Funko Pickup of the Year, uh, Best Funko Series of the Year. Um, we have a good time doing it, so come check us out. I'm jumping off here. Y'all be kind to one another.